You tell them that Sauron lives because of you! And you will die because of me! Sauron's strikingly different portrayal in Season 2 of The Rings of Power hints at a significant storyline from J.R.R. Tolkien's mythology. Explore the intriguing details right here, exclusively on Screen Rant. In the trailer for The Rings of Power Season 2, Charlie Vickers Sauron makes a reappearance, but with a significant transformation of his own. The enemy is reintroduced following Galadriel's narration, declaring, I think he has been here among us all along. This time Sauron appears with flowing golden hair that even Legolas would envy two pointed ears, and a striking new set of armor. Towards the end of the trailer, Sauron emerges in regal robes, surrounded by elves with swords pointed at his handsome face. Sauron's style in The Rings of Power Season 2 is markedly different from the rugged aesthetic of Halbrand, but there is a canonical reason behind this chain. In J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle-Earth Legendarium, Sauron deceives the elves by posing as an elf himself, under the alias Anatar to persuade them to craft the Rings of Power. Season 1 of The Rings of Power modified this narrative depicting Sauron infiltrating a region as Halbrand. However, he only succeeded in having three rings made using this method. Tolkien described Anatar as a beautiful and fair disguise. The smooth, blonde, angelic appearance of Sauron in the Season 2 trailer certainly fits this description. Therefore, the drastic change in appearance is explained by Sauron's transition from Halbrand to Anatar, masquerading as an elf rather than a man. Sauron's sudden transformation is possible because, until the end of Middle-earth's Second Age, the Dark Lord possesses the innate ability to shapeshift. This power is revoked by ERU, the god of Tolkien's universe, long before the events of The Lord of the Rings. However, during the era depicted in The Rings of Power, this punishment has not yet been imposed. Although Sauron's full strength may not have returned after Morgoth's defeat, he still possesses enough power to alter his appearance and infiltrate a region, facilitating the crafting of the remaining Rings of Power. Sauron's objective in posing as Anatar is to complete the task he began in Season 1, when the three elven rings were forged. Seven rings for dwarves and nine for mortal men are yet to be created. However, Celebrimbor is already wary of Sauron's Halbrand form. The only way Sauron can persuade Celebrimbor to create more rings is by adopting a new guise. Not only does appearing as an elven lord enable Sauron to reignite the forge, but it also allows him to move freely around a region without arousing suspicion. Ultimately, Sauron's plan is to secretly create the One Ring back in Mordor, thereby dominating the wills of the other Rings of Power. If the Rings of Power Season 2 covers Sauron's transformation into Anatar, the creation of the One Ring cannot be far off. Therefore, it is plausible that the debut appearance of the iconic gold trinket will serve as the shocking final scene of Season 2, setting the stage for Season 3. And with that, it's a wrap. Keep following Screen Rant for regular updates.